Um, I start, I'm 41 years old now. Actually, I started when I was seven years old and with Taekwondo. Then I switched to Kung Fu. Then when I was a teenager, I left, I'm originally Iranian, and I left, I left Iran and I was in Pakistan and India for a few years before I come to New Zealand and I was here and there prior to that. I came to New Zealand in 2003 and end of 2002 and when I arrived here, I started training with Steve Oliver and yes, and through Steve, I was introduced to Lolo Heimuli and I started my upgrading my stand-up training with them. Yeah, that's how I started. And, and when did that association with Steve and that start? I was, it's a little bit funny story actually with Steve. And I used to have a computer shop in West Auckland. I was sitting in the shop and Steve came to my shop to fix his computer to laptop. And I gained lots of weight, I was 125 kg. And Steve is big guys, and he's a, if you don't know him, because he's a serious and funny guy at the same time. And he came in and, hey Santa, how are you? <laughs> and it was like sort of close to the New Year time, if I'm not wrong. And he asked me, uh, he, as you see him, he's all like athletic look guy. And I asked him about what you're doing, and I started a conversation. And yeah, he asked me if, I need any help for losing weight. And I really appreciate his offer, a lot of genius, genius offer. And I say to him, but you know, I'm working very hard here, I don't have time. And he said, what time do you have time? I say, five o'clock Five o'clock in the morning, that's the only time I can train. He said, we are in tomorrow morning. I say, you sure? I say, yes. If you started from there, and we never stopped since then. And so the, then the association with Lowell, how did that come about? Um, I had my first MMA fight. I asked Steve if I can have an MMA fight. And Steve helped me with uh, ground and stand-up training. And it was, again, close to New Year. Everything happened close to New Year, that's interesting. And Lolo said there is a camp and he's running. And Steve took us to him if we do a camp with him, fight camp. And I started my first fight camp with him for the fight. My first MMA fight in New Zealand. Yeah, and since then, yep, we had a like, good relationship, good friendship. We started train and training and relationship together. As Lola, I started with Lola as a student. But I'll tell you one funny story as well for my, for my fight and before moving to that. And I trained jujitsu, I trained uh, kickboxing and boxing. And then I went for my first fight and I was expecting the team I'm training with to be with me. And, but because it was 10 or 11 of us fighting in Sherry and Show, and it was like busy through the coaching one here and one there. And when I stepped to the cage, I said, oh, what I'm doing here. I saw in my mind as somebody, I wanted to open the door and run away. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do it, but I, 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 all I hear advice, it's on, boom, goes, oh, I can't run away anymore. And I saw somebody running to me straight away. And all I remember the basic techniques, one, two, three, shoot, and I did, and I saw the guys on the ground. <laughs> and I dropped and finished them. So you're still in the, in the cage, you're still fighting? I'm um, still, well, uh, I want to believe it's still I got it. I'm 41 years old, but I never gave up on anything in my life. That's what I learned. and. I try. I always regret for not trying. I don't regret for, for failing. So I try, and if I fail, it's OK. I don't get sad for it. And I remember I had my MMA fight uh, about two and a half, three, three years ago and with one of the good guys. After the, uh, close to the end of the fight, he had me with a high kick. He broke my jaw. As a result, I got four plates and 16 pins is going to be permanent here for entire life. And heaps of good friend of me, for a good reason, and told me, you are too old, you better give up. It's not for you anymore, this is a young gay, young, yeah, which is which they are right. Um, this, I'm nothing against what they say to me, what they advise me, but it was, that advice wasn't for me. And I was still on a stroll, and I had a good advice for recovery actually from Hamish from Ukraine MMA, thank you Hamish. And he gave me the good uh, tips, for my recovery stuff. 
I wasn't still on his throat, but I feel um, shy, embarrassed, or sort of scared to tell my family I still want to continue. Even still, I, was, I couldn't eat. I was on his throat. I could only drink. And it was only like seven weeks, I think. And I, after 12 weeks, I was able to just slowly eat. And I said to my family, I'm going to buy milk and come back. They did not register for New Zealand National Jiu Jitsu. I registered myself. But what I was doing is I was going to swimming pool every day. I drilling the ankle lock in the water because I wasn't able to run because of my jaw. And I was drilling one move like three, four hours a day, only one move. And I registered before without telling anyone. I went to the competition. Um, we don't turn really um, injured, I can't compete because I knew they're gonna stop me. <laughs> it was my own decision. And, but I became, I won the gold, gold medal. And all three uh, matches I had, I finished them all by ankle lock, <laughs> less than a minute. <laughs> One move, yeah, so I don't, after that, it's two and a half years, I remained undefeated on boxing, kickboxing, and MMA. Never lost any fight after that. And didn't have many, but few fights I had. And for Jiu Jitsu, I competed a few times, regional and national. I won every single of them except one final. I got silver rather than gold, but every single of them I won gold. So even if I lose, I don't mind. I try. And then you started to, to promote the shows, the Born to Fight shows. Yeah, the Born to Fight show, uh, we started it couple of years ago and up until today we had four yeah four show through the gym it was to mainly help our young guys training with us to have a chance and get a more fair fight more match for me a uh, more fame match and here we started the first fight was at ABA second one was at ABA as well and last two was on ASP, which he changed to Buffton Thompson. And third one actually was the biggest show ever New Zealand had since K1 Day. Yeah, that was a, that was a huge show. You brought Chinese fighters, you had yeah. fighters from around the world there. Um, and you've got things planned for next year as well. And yeah, we're not gonna stop. Next year, something huge going to happen, also from the gym. Um, we are changing our gym name. Uh, we were, our name, you know, is Balmora Lega Gym, running in New Zealand for over 30 years, and founded by Lolo Heimuli, Wayne Waiga, Tojo, and some of the older students for the original Liga. And it was an honor for me to be engaged a couple of years as an ownership, you know, taking ownership of the Balmora Lega and for changing of some circumstances. So we want to be independent now, having our own flag. That's not my decision again. This is my team decision. We changing the name and we're gonna announce it on between 15 to 20 of January, there's a plan to announce a new name, new flag, new logo, new t-shirt, and in our April show, we're going with new name. And you still got the same premises, so? We are on the same premises, actually, we're upgrading it. We already started the renovation, and a couple big things again happened in the gym. I, I started with Steve Oliver, as I explained in the beginning. And um, again, I, I never like, stopped communicating with Steve. We were always, he was always my coach, my mentor, also a very good friend. And always I needed him, he was there for me. I couldn't do much for him. And he never needed me, um, but every time I did need someone to help me on any uh, second sense, he was there for me. Same things this time. He stepped in when I was a little bit down, and he came and he's stepping in. He's gonna continue working. He's bringing his jujitsu to city. And the other thing is, we're doing huge um, changing to the gym industry as well with the Steve starting from 14th of January, and that's education system through the gym. One problem for all the fighters in New Zealand, not all, most of the fighters, up until they get to the point they can earn money, is financial situation. We got tips of good uh, fighters, good talents, 
they can't really train, commit to training because financial issue or they are students, they have to study and they can't do these things. We are the first gym in whole Oceania, got license from government to run under NZQ system and have access to our student loan allowance. So our students can train with us and they can get paid as well, same time, through the government if they choose to study with us. Yeah, so hopefully we can help some young guys to achieve their goals. Yeah, we, we are moving on. If anybody wants to come and train, how do they get hold of you? My number is 0211, that's easy number, 0211-545454. That's easy to remember, 0211-545454. Everyone is welcome to send me a text message and we're welcoming everyone. But if they do train somewhere, it's very important to us. They have the coach permission. If they want to go and try us, they're always welcome. But they need to have the coach permission. Otherwise, if they're looking to come and train with us and we do offer one week free trial, they can come and train for free. If they lock us, they're more than welcome to join us. If they don't lock us no obligation, they can just leave. When will we know the name? If you saw my logo on the Liga page, Facebook, we already changed it to a lion face, and there is a um, crown on it. So we're changing it to King's Academy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you.